So you decided to start your game development journey, whether as a full-time career, indie game developer, or as a hobbyist. You need a software, and there are plenty of free softwares by which you can start creating games, and are capable enough to create high-quality games. So let's get started. Here's the list of top 10 game development software you can download for free today. First on the list is Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is a industry standard free software which can render photorealistic games in a real time, and it is one of the most popular software today. And suitable for both 3D as well as 2D games. This software is for both coders and non-coders. Where for non-coders, you can create games using Blueprint, which is capable to create high-quality games with drag and drop feature. For coders, there's a C++ language, and it is capable enough to create all sort of games, like really all sort of games. This software is not limited to games, but also can be used for animation and filmmaking. And there are great examples of that. Such as Game of Thrones, Independence Day 2, Knight of the Round Table, King Arthur are a few examples. Second on the list is Unity. Unity is the most widely used game development software. Similar to Unreal Engine, you can create both 3D as well as 2D games. Lot of indie game developer use Unity for its excellent functionality and high quality content, and ability to use for pretty much all types of games. Unity is for both. Coders as well as for non-coders. Here, C# -sharp language is used, and for non-coders, there's a special add-on for that, which is called as Playmaker, and can be used to create games. I personally used it, so I can say it's worth it. But learning C# -sharp language will be far more beneficial for you if you are looking game development as a career. Third on the list is Godot. Godot is an open source software which is licensed under MIT license, and it is the only 3D engine tool on the list that is free through and through. They won't charge a penny. And even you can use the source code and modify it, which is written in C++ language. Are you looking at the power of C++ language? To create games, Godot uses JavaScript language, which is its own built-in scripting language, a high-level programming language, which is similar to Python. Next on the list is Game Maker. Game Maker got its popularity because of its drag-and-drop feature. And it is not limited to that, but you can also write a code in GML, Game Maker language, which is much similar to C++, with lot of flexibility. Some of the popular games made using Game Maker are Hotline, Miami, Super Crate Box, etc. You can export games only in paid version. That was not expected. But fifth on the list is CryEngine. Far Cry is the game which is created using CryEngine, and the company not only creates tech but develops game as well. The engine is mostly focused toward photorealistic shooters and first person in general. CryEngine is known for its well-optimized, great visuals. So if you are a big fan of games like Far Cry, then this engine might be for you. Did I mention this language uses YLA language to create games? No, not it down. Sixth on the list is RPG Maker MZ. As from the name, you might have guessed it. It is only for RPG game developers and with prime focus on non-programmers. It uses the map editor, character generator, and database to generate any RPG your imagination churn up. You can also incorporate custom code with different plugins, but you can implement most of the logic using the non-core required event system native to RPG Maker MZ. With free version of RPG Maker. We will have the hundred of ready-made assets pack to choose from. Not only that, it also has texture, music packs, character sprites, sprites, fundamental level design, and everything you could need to build an RPG is found here. Seventh on the list is Armory 3D. Armory 3D is an open-source 3D engine focused on portability, minimal footprint, and performance. It is a complete package of tools like Armor 3D Engine, Armor Paint, and Armor Lab. It also provides a full Blender integration add-on, turning into a complete game development tool, which results in unified workflow from start to finish. Just like Blender, Armor 3D uses Python language to create games. Talking about Armor Paint, it is a standalone software designed for physically based texture painting, where you can drag and drop your character, model, or 3D models and start painting. Receive instant visual feedback in the viewport as you paint. And Armor Lab is a standalone software designed for AI-powered texture authoring, 
generate PBR materials by drag and dropping your photos. Next on the list is Default. Default is an open source and free to use software. This is for both coders as well as for non coders. For coders, LA language is used, and for non coders, default scene editor is there where you can drag and drop asset straight into your game. The engine has excellent 3D support, but it is most preferred for 2D creation. Using a component based system, you will have access to 2D sprites and map editors, 3D models and meshing, and a range of particle effects. As it's a free software, you can try different things to explore full capability of default. Ninth on the list is Solar 2D. Just like Godot and Default, Solar 2D is also an open source software, which means it's free through and through. It uses ELA language to develop games. You can export Solar 2D games on all platforms. Last on the list is Construct3. Construct3 is a very intuitive drag and drop software for creating 2D games that can be used to design and create RPG, shooting, racing games, or even storybooks. It also includes the Box 2D physics engine for creating physics based games. The learning curve is super easy and the beauty of this software is put on dozens of platform. As you can see, there's a wide variety of software which can help you to create games and each software has its own pros and cons. It completely depends on your journey, what kind of game you actually want to create and all that. But if you learn a particular language like C++, C Sharp or JavaScript or Python, any language, it will help you in the long run. Just relying on a drag and drop feature, it, it will restrict your imagination. That's it for this video. If you found anything helpful in this video, just hit like, share and subscribe. So YouTube will recommend this video to more people like you and me. Thank you.